What's going on guys and welcome back to the Stock Advantage. My name is Darren and today I want to briefly talk about SNDL's earnings report and what that means for the market tomorrow. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so if you see here, uh, you can see that SNDL actually had a, a pretty solid day on the on the market. Opened low, it opened down at $1.38, uh, it was down with the rest of the market. During the day, got up back to $1.58, finished at $1.54, but if you look in the after hours right now, it's at $1.69, so it's up almost 9% in the after hours right now, which is great. So they did release their earnings report after market close on today, March 17th, uh, and so it, it was obviously uh, something that investors liked. That's why the spike happened. So let's look into that a little bit here. Um, so I've got this on their website. So the big story with SNDL over the last 12 months has been their ability to wipe out debt. So in 2020, they did some financial restructuring and uh, wiped out $227 million in debt just in 2020. Um, they had $60.4 million cash on hand at the end of 2020. But the big story is now they have $719 million on hand as of March 15th. Uh, we know that $100 million of that is going to that new partnership they've got uh, with, I think it's SAF Group, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but still, $620 million with no debt is a great position to be in. Uh, their gross revenue increased by 10% to $73 million. Um, and so their, their sales were up. Uh, a lot of solid stuff happening here with their, um, their earnings report, which is great. A lot of people were expecting a beatdown. Honestly, I was expecting it. Um, Partially because uh, the company as a whole, you know, if you look at this versus the value of the stock, it still doesn't match up even after this good earnings. Uh, but the positive trends, the way they're going is very helpful in this situation. And so we've talked a little bit about before on this channel, they've uh, committed 58.9 million in the fourth quarter and another 31.5 um, to investments in the cannabis portfolio. So a couple different investments they made. Uh, and so that's that's kind of the direction they're they're looking at going with their new partnership. Uh, and so they just wanted to highlight that as well. So even though their gross revenue, if you can see here, gross revenue was up 10 percent. Their net revenue was down 4 percent. So their margin was actually down quite a bit. So that's that's a solid uh, point here. Cultivation and production costs were reduced by 75 percent uh, in the fourth quarter. They got more efficient. Right. That's the name of the game with any manufacturing company, any kind of uh, company as a whole is how can we become more efficient? Because ultimately that gives us more margin going forward. So they say here what the what the cause was due to the reduced margin, mainly due to reduced pricing and a shift to higher cost product mix. Um, Sundial continues to analyze and adjust operations. So like a lot of the, the companies out there, um, some of their margins were down last year due to the climate uh, and what was going on. So there is a lot of information on this website. I'm not going to go through it all today, uh, but mostly I want to kind of look at the stock, talk about the earnings a little bit. You know, they did hit that high uh, of $4 a share back during the, what I'll call the cannabis squeeze uh, back in, uh, what was that mid-February there? Uh, and then now they're, they're trending in the right direction after hours. They're cooling off a little bit. It's back down to $1.67 right now. So I think that... Um, you had the pop that happened after they people started seeing the positive earnings results. I think we may see a run up again in pre-market tomorrow. You know, people thinking you know, this is going to go. I've seen a lot of people comment SNDL to three dollars tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in reality, while the company is moving in the right direction, I don't necessarily see three dollars happening tomorrow. Uh, I think they're since they're on that positive track, we may not see as much of a beat down. Uh, but if I had to guess what would happen tomorrow, I'm going to say you'll probably have a good little spike in pre-market and then it'll probably cool off a little bit during the day. Overall, the trend since the low here back at March 5th, the trend is going in the right direction. Uh, hit high of $1.74 there, cooled back off on the last uh, couple days there. And then it's kind of moving right. So, so over the last month, we are moving in the right direction with this stock. If you look at all the analysts, they're still going to say it's crazy. It shouldn't be valued this high. Um, so just be extra cautious with that because it is a penny stock. There are better stocks out there. Uh, but this one is one that I would put a small portion of your portfolio in, tuck it away, and then check on it in the future. 
Um, there is some opportunity to swing trade this stock just because of the volume. Volume was down a little bit today, about half of what it usually is. So there is an opportunity to swing trade this stock, but don't bank on this stock going to $3, $5, $10 tomorrow, or even this week or this month, or probably even this year. But I think over time, it, it could become a, a solid growth uh, stock. And I think it could change some of the analysts' minds um, based on their investments they make. I think that's going to really develop help them develop the business and grow the business they're going to continue to improve their margins efficiency uh, but it's going to be what they do on that investing side that helps them grow the overall brand and the overall business so i'm looking forward to that again just wanted to bring you a quick update on sndl's earnings report which was positive um and so you can see that in the after hours but we'll see if it carries on throughout the week uh, my feeling again is that it'll pop in the pre-market and it'll cool off throughout the day uh, or maybe run flat. Um, also, it all depends on the the normal uh, or the the broader markets because, uh, face it, you know stocks follow the broader markets, good, bad, or ugly. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Remember, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, like the video, uh, comment down below what your thoughts are on SNDL. Uh, and what other stocks you're looking at right now uh, or you've you've invested in. I'm interested to, to hear about that. So also link down below two free stocks from Webull. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get a stock, I get a stock, we get a stock. SNDL does not get a stock. They got their own stocks. Anyways, until next time, have a great day and God bless.